In this episode, I'm going to take a look at how to create a custom pattern and add it to my default patterns document so I can use it in future projects. I'll be using Inkscape version 0.46. I decided not to use my key status monitor that Richard and I used in our last episodes because it gets in the way on this particular tutorial. I'll bring it back in future episodes. While I was learning how to do this for myself, I noticed that fellow Inkscape user Rob Antonition had described how to do this very thing on his blog some time ago. I picked up a few tips from Rob and I want to make sure that I give him some credit. Also, Rob has some nifty information on his website which I'm sure you'll appreciate. Once at Rob's uh, website, uh, what you need to do is navigate to the Inkscape uh, link to the right. And you'll see that he has a few tutorials already. We're interested in the creating and adding custom patterns to Inkscape, so I'll click on that link. And it's here that I grabbed uh, some information. So you want to make sure that you have a look at that. He does a very good job with that tutorial. So thank you, Rob. OK. Uh, before we get started, it's important to have an understanding of how patterns are saved in the default Inkscape session. The developers have created a master patterns document located in the Inkscape directory path under the patterns directory. Your install path may vary depending on operating system that you're using. I'm currently using Ubuntu. On a Linux system, this directory is owned by root, so you'll need to run Nautilus in root mode in order to make changes to this file and to this directory. So the first thing that we're going to do is navigate to this directory. And again, on my Linux system, it is located in User Share Inkscape Patterns. And this is our default uh, patterns document. Inside this document are our multiple patterns that were supplied to us originally. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is right click on this and do a copy and do a paste because I don't want to overwrite and ruin my original patterns file. So I'm just going to leave a copy right here so I can always get back to the original if I need to. Okay, now what I'm going to do, we're going to come back to this a little bit later, so I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. I'm going to set my document up so we can uh, develop our own um, pattern. So I'm going to go to File, Document Properties, and I'm going to set my document up for 50 pixels by 50 pixels. This can be just about anything you want, but I'm going to make a, a smaller pattern. Okay, we'll go ahead and zoom in on this uh, canvas size or our page here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a shape, and I'm not going to really focus on the pattern itself because you guys can do anything you want for a pattern. I'm just going to keep it simple. So we're going to make like a star pattern. Okay, I'll just draw one star, and I'm going to make this star 25 by 25. Okay, I'll put that down here, and I'm going to duplicate this, and I'm going to put one up here. We're going to make some type of a diagonal uh, star pattern, okay? I'm going to go to my Align and Distribute tool. And I'm going to select this star here, and I'm going to push that to the top of my page and over to the right. I'm going to do the same with this. I'll push this to the bottom of my page and over to the left, so I have these um, right where I want them. And I'm going to take both of these and group them together. So I have one 50 pixel by 50 pixel uh, image here. Okay, I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. And what you'll need to do too, well you don't have to, but uh, what I like to do is uh, duplicate this and move this out 50 pixels. And we'll just kind of fudge this. And I just want to get a sense for what my pattern might look like. And we'll duplicate this. Okay. And that kind of gives me a rough idea of what my pattern might be. Okay, I think that looks pretty good, so I'll go ahead and delete these things. And we'll zoom back in on this. Okay, now I'm ready to select my image, and I'm going to go to Object, Pattern, 
objects to pattern. What that does is takes my image and um, adds it as a pattern inside of this document. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is save this document and we'll get this thing a little smaller so you guys can see it here and I'm going to save this right out to my desktop. Okay, we'll save that we'll replace the one that I already have. Take a sip of coffee. Okay, now let's take a look at it. Okay, I no longer need this document anymore. So what I'm going to do is close out on this and get back to my desktop. And here is the document that I've just drawn. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open this up in um, G-Edit. Okay, we'll push this in the middle here. And what the developers and what Rob have already explained to us is that the pattern is inside of the defs tag. Okay, so we're going to cruise down just a little bit until we find the actual pattern tag, and that's what we want to copy to our uh, default patterns document. Okay, but before we do that, I'm going to minimize this. And we're going to open up our patterns file. And this is the default patterns file in my user share Inkscape patterns directory. Okay. And I'm going to find my defs tag. And I'm going to find the pattern tags. Okay. Now let me explain something to you. Within the pattern tag is a pattern. Okay. So this first pattern tag. Um, has described a pattern called stripes one to one okay and again we have another pattern and this next pattern is called stripes one to one white and so on and so on throughout this whole document these are where the patterns are described okay so what we're gonna do is we're not gonna recreate the wheel we're gonna take this pattern section right here and we're gonna do a copy I'm going to enter this down a little bit and we're going to paste this in. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're re going to we're going to recreate this, okay? Our scale, for example, whoops, I'm sorry. We're going to make sure that our width is the same size as our document. It was 50 by 50. Okay. And Rob tells us that we want to make our scale one to one because we want it to be one to one. If we wanted it to be like two to one or whatever, then we would you could put that in there. Okay? And we're gonna give this a name. This first one is called stripes one underscore one. We're just gonna call this one stars. And we're gonna give it a stock ID. We'll call it stars one to one. You don't have to have the one to one there. You can just remove that and uh, put anything you want in there. And what we're going to do next is we need to remove this portion because this is what defines the shape or the object in Inkscape. Okay. So we're going to go back to our drawing SVG and we're going to find um, our shape and it is right here it's a path so we're gonna take this whole thing okay I wanna make sure I've got everything there looks like what I need to do is grab just this bit see where I am here okay I got that part and we're gonna copy this and where we have this section right here we're gonna paste right on top of it okay so now we've got my star pattern uh, document and we've described it here Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and delete, delete, clean up my mess here, and this is my new pattern.
Now, hopefully, if I've done this correctly and save this out, when I start a new document, I'll have this star shape in there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save this. Okay, now what I've done is I've added a brand new pattern to the default patterns document. Okay, so each time that I open up a raw session of Inkscape, I'm going to have my pattern already in there. Okay, so let's minimize this. And let's start a brand new session of Inkscape. Let me just try to fit this inside of my little cheat rectangle here. Okay. Now, let's see if my pattern worked. I'm going to draw a square. Doesn't matter what color you draw it. Once you apply the pattern, uh, the color will go away. And we're going to go to our fill and stroke dialog. We're going to select our pattern. And here is our stars one to one we've just added that okay here's stripes this is a pattern that was added uh, in the default document by the developers you see you've got a number of different patterns here got wavy cloth and you've got the one that we just added called stars okay now another thing that you can do with these patterns when you double click on this object you'll see that you've got some uh, items up here what you can do with that if you were to take this square for example and drag it you can scale your pattern any size that you want okay if you grab the circle you can rotate the pattern any way you want and if you grab the X you can change its center point anywhere that you want and that's how you make patterns in Inkscape. So I hope that uh, was uh, inf inf uh, I hope you got some uh, uh, feedback from that. And again, uh, adding patterns is not difficult, but uh, you do want to make sure that you back up your uh, patterns file, just like I've done here, just in case you need to get back to it, or in case you kind of screw up this patterns document. Um, the first time that I did it, I did screw it up, and I had to uh, I had to get a copy from somewhere else. Uh, that was just my bad. Um, but uh, uh, adding these patterns, it, it's it's easy. And again, if you want to add all kinds of patterns, all you got to do is add it to that patterns document, and you, maybe you can pass that around to your friends, and they can have your pattern. So I hope you enjoyed the screencast. Thank you for watching. I'm Heathen X.